Good morning. This is Wednesday, October 6th, and uh, today's devotion is the nature of regeneration. This is Galatians 1, 15 and 16. When it pleased God to reveal his son in me. That's important today. If Jesus Christ is going to regenerate me, what is the problem he faces? It is simply this. I have an hereditary in which I had no say or decision. Now that heredity is the spiritual DNA that's within us from Adam. I am not holy, nor am I likely to be, and if all Jesus Christ can do is tell me that I must be holy, his teaching only causes me to despair. But if Jesus Christ is truly a regenerator, someone who can put his own hereditary DNA of holiness into me, then I can begin to see what, it, what he means when he says that I, or you, have to be holy. Redemption means that Jesus Christ can put into anyone the hereditary nature that was in himself pure, holy DNA. And all the standards he gives us are based on that nature, meaning he'll never ask us to do anything that he hasn't already accomplished himself. His, teachings is meant, uh, his teaching is meant to be applied to the life which he puts within us. The proper action on my part is simply to agree with God's verdict on sin as judged on the cross of Jesus Christ. The New Testament teaching about regeneration is that when a person is hit by his own sense of need, that moment in which we realize that we need his salvation, God will put the Holy Spirit into his spirit, and his personal spirit will be energized by the Spirit of the Son of God. It replaces the Adamic DNA with his new salvation DNA through Jesus. Until Christ is formed in you, that's Galatians 4.19. The moral miracle of redemption is that God can put a new nature into me through which I can live totally a new life. When I finally reach the edge of my need and know my own limitations, in other words, I can't save myself, then Jesus says, blessed are you. That's Matthew 5, the Beatitudes. But I must get to that point. I must get to that point. God cannot put me into it. The responsible moral person that I am, the nature that was in Jesus Christ, he can't put that into me unless I am aware of the need for salvation, for that moment of redemption. Just as the nature of sin entered into the human race through one man, the Holy Spirit entered into the human race through another man, Jesus Christ, that's Romans 5. And redemption means that I can be delivered from the heredity of sin, and that through Jesus Christ I can receive a pure and spotless heredity, DNA, namely the Holy Spirit. So the challenge I have for us today is what type of spiritual DNA do we have in us? Is it still the Adamic DNA, the fallen man, or is it redeemed Holy Spirit DNA? I, I'm praying that you've all you listening have been saved, but if you haven't today, you can pray and ask the Lord to change your spiritual DNA through forgiveness. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, the way that you uh, shape things in our lives and the way that Oswald writes these things that we can understand. We are all born with the Adamic spiritual DNA. But Lord, through the act of the cross, through forgiveness of the shed blood of Jesus Christ, we can have that DNA replaced and, and have his Holy Spirit infilling, which gives us his DNA. So Father, today I pray that if uh, we don't have that DNA of Jesus, the forgiveness, that we would uh, reach out and ask. You know, Lord, we pray together that uh, if there's somebody we know that needs it, that they too would see the need and cry out for it. We love you, Father, and we thank you for challenging us in these things. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.